Alrighty, hello and good morning. So, uh, yeah, quick apologies here, because I just noticed I actually forgot to... Well, I forgot to reset the, <laughs> uh, the save thing last time, so my bad on that one. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get all these rebuilt right now. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be starting pretty shortly here. Uh, and in fact, there's actually a uh, another quick um, another quick rule that I figured I'd go ahead and throw out there uh, that uh, I think should uh, should make these a little bit more fun. Namely, if you can think of any absolutely garbage builds uh, from uh, from the game itself, uh, instead of just always starting with a starter, uh, I thought it might be interesting that uh, yeah, somebody suggested the other day of like, what if we uh, have a cross back in there, or what about a uh, you know an eight ball in there somewhere or something like that. So I think that might be an interesting uh, little toss-up to the current rules of play. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me know. Actually, come to think of it, I forgot to make the uh, little rules robot thing. So uh, I should probably go ahead and do that, huh? I guess we can go ahead and do so. Give me just a moment here. Go get that uh, sucker done. In fact, we might as well just leave this guy looking like Crossback. Why not? Just uh, start off with something weird right off the bat. So yeah, uh, if you've never if you've never uh, been to one of these before, basically the whole reason that Crossback sucks, uh, he's just basically this rando uh, uh, mid boss you run into. He's not to say that he's not super impressive is a bit of an understatement. Cause literally, his core is his only threatening weapon, <laughs> so it's one of those kind of situations. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm remembering his build exactly, but the radiator doesn't really matter. Basically, what you need is uh, you've got your scatter mines, you've got your crappy SMG-looking thing, uh, you've got your uh, you got your anti-missiles over here. Let's see, on the back we got uh, some small rockets, so just these. We've got the standard radar over here. You got an SMG thing, and then we need a shield because those things are trash. And there we go. And then his optionals are never explicitly stated, so, I mean, those should be pretty obvious, but we'll get to that in a moment. Anyway, so we'll uh, we'll be starting with Crossback this time, just for uh, for a bit of fun. And yeah, let me go set that rules thing. I should probably put a little uh, note somewhere to do the whole exclamation mark dealing. Okay, so commands, custom commands...
All right, so the uh, command I was looking for, or the command I was putting in, is done. So uh, yeah, it's a uh, exclamation mark uh, blender for uh, for the rules. Uh, let's double check that that's working. Do, 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 do. And there we go. It works. It lives. It's a big old brick of text that is rather unfortunate, actually. But uh, yeah, there we go. It's there. So uh, so how about that? Aside from that, I guess we can just go ahead and get this sucker going then. So, gonna go ahead and uh, start off with the crossback this time, just for the hell of it. The other four are just gonna be standard starters. Uh, they still have the weird names to them. But yeah, I, actually I should probably go ahead and uh, save this file before anything weird happens. In fact, it occurs to me, I might have actually had more saves than I... Yeah, it's a little bit unclear uh, just uh, just where exactly all these saves are. So I've been switching between a couple different versions, uh, between um, a couple different PPSs, PPE versions, and it's a bit unclear sometimes where some of these stuff lands. So uh, yeah. Anyway, so if we're going with crossback, might as well start off with a mission. I mean, it it can at least function. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the uh, the optionals uh, in just a sec here. But what kind of mission are we rolling here? All right, escort transport, simple enough. Okay, uh, the, like the plus side of uh, starting off with the uh, with the crossback here uh, is that it does actually start off with a pretty decent generator, but that's really about it. It's got a decent generator, it's got a good EO. Everything else is trash. Its defense is trash. Its offense is primarily just the EO and mines. It's got an anti missile, but meh. I mean, the the machine gun on it is trash. The mines basically have to be right up in somebody's face to use, and then the shield is... Well, I mean, that thing is just getting thrown away pretty much immediately. Anyway, so, uh, reduce some uh, damage here, reduce stuns, we're not getting stun locked, uh, capacity. Uh, but what I really need here, if we go down here, so if we get all three of the energy optionals, uh, that'll actually make the, um, the thing into more or less a laser chainsaw, which is perfectly fine by me. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, disable lock-ons, sure. So that's just basically like a little mini EMP thing. Uh, Paint-wise, let's just go for some. Uh, let's go for some sample purple. What do we got here? We're just making horribly pink. We got salmon colors. It's funny because Mumu in uh, LR uses this exact color scheme. <laughs> you can literally just get a color scheme right off the bat. It's a. Uh, it's an odd one. Um, you know what? That looks pretty okay. It's close enough. Uh, we're missing the uh, the golden arms, but it'll work. It'll work for this one. So we'll just redo them as uh, time goes on. All right, so we need uh, escort transport, as it were. That should be in the industrial area, I believe. Do, 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 do. Now we look for everything to find escort transport. Unless I'm thinking of a completely different one, and or if I just completely missed it up here. And yes, I sure did. Okay. So this one, pretty simple. Uh, you just basically run up, blow up some debris. Actually, this mission, uh, in particular, is one of the ones that um, uh, that I allowed the 5AC rule for. Because there's certain parts uh, where it's just simply impractical to uh, do it any other way. Like right here, if I were to come in with just, say, a parrying blade, uh, this mission would be uncompletable. So, uh... So yeah, you, you have to you have to have something with uh, some sort of uh, ability to manually fire. Um, unfortunately, the mines don't even work for that. So there we go. And in all honesty, given how the blenderizer works, we probably could just go ahead and start with literally any AC in any slot, and it would probably get completely bastardized by the end of it. I just really like uh, having the idea of starting over with a starter. Uh, but yeah, the very first slot can be anything. Then it kind of becomes sort of like a shmup rules, as it were, like where you're coming in with all of your useful upgrades, and then all of a sudden it's like, no, you died. Here you go, friggin' beat the alien invasion with a water gun. It's like, uh, that seems a little unfair, but if you say so, sir. Am I at least getting paid for this? No, you're getting paid in glory, I guess. So yeah, EO, not terribly bad, but this is like pretty much hands down one of the easiest missions in the game. Uh, it's funny because they even made it easier in the PSP version, because uh, in uh, the PS uh, PS2 one, 
uh, there was actually a chance that if he uh, ran into that first piece of debris, I'm not sure if it was a bug or not, but sometimes he would just instantly die if he touched that thing. And now he can just drive through it without any trouble. Alright, so now we just kind of hang out here, put it on fast forward. Because the entire mission's done, we're just waiting for him to finish driving up here. Oh man, that the nice horrible sound. Oh yes. So good. So good. <laughs> Yay! He's going to take over from here. Okay, so that's one done. Now, a quick little thing I want to change here. I want to move this box a little bit to the left. It's kind of bugging me that it's a little bit off-center. Yeah, there's going to be a couple things that seem a little off-center, by the way. Okay, so S rank, perfectly good. So what do we got next? So insides, outsides arms and frame and what do we got here probably turn on performance mode again there we go so that we're not running into issues once more so we got the back slug cannon the boulder legs and the extension am40s I believe I've actually already got the am40s on at the moment so am40 Uh, no, we're running the AS-40s. Here's the AM-40s. They're, I mean, they're about about the same thing, give or take. Uh, the AS are just kind of nice because they end up giving you a slightly lower resource drain. Uh, they don't respond nearly as well, but truth be told, they're still plenty good as it, as it is. Uh, now I'm actually going to replace the radar here. So we got volar legs, so we're going to get a good bit of carry weight on that. We're going to get a good bit of defense out of that. Uh, but then, yeah, the radar we don't necessarily need. And... And get a nice uh, shotgun out of that. So there we go. That's what we're moving into for the next one. Seems uh, Crossback's put on a little bit of weight after he realized how terrible his AC is. Okay, uh, and... You know, honestly, this still feels like a mission build to me. So I'm going to go uh, do another mission. I basically have to take those as much as I can. Okay, defend testing grounds. That's doable, especially with rockets. It's going to be right over here. So for this one, yeah, they tell you that there's a starter AC in the background. You never actually see them. Like, I think you can vaguely see them kind of flying off in the background somewhere. So what they're saying is use EO to get rid of helicopters. So I'm going to save the rockets for the boss. I, I say boss, but it's literally just like one bomber that comes in. Now, the MTs are the, are the real threat here. Unfortunately... Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have replaced the radar, actually. But yeah, these guys are the real threat, especially the laser guys, so I'm going to try to deal with them as much as possible. Also, one of the I, I believe this is actually the only mission that has the uh, menu music as its actual combat music, which is pretty great. I like it. Do, 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 do. It's kind of nice because they're kind of uh, kind of musically establishing that hey you know you've already graduated you've already done this test now you're in the background making sure that somebody else can complete their test so it's nice you know it's a nice little uh, nice little touch I feel uh, so to anyone that's here by the way uh, is the sound coming through all right is it decent uh, basically looking at my bars here uh, looking at my bars everything seems like it should be okay at least I think it is. Uh, there we go. If I just up this a tiny bit, maybe something like that. Now, according to my bars, it should be okay. That, unfortunately, tells me next to nothing. Uh, since, uh, yeah, if something's all jacked up, I don't really tend to know about it. So, uh, if you could let me know, I'd greatly appreciate it. It's always good to have that kind of information. Now, the funny part is, yeah, this uh, little SMG thing is actually worse than the starter rifle. Uh, in pretty much every way. Uh, weighs more. Uh, it ends up having, like, arguably slightly better DPS, but, but truth be told, yeah, no, it's just it's just worse in every way. Because yeah, you're getting less overall damage out of it. Your uh, your DPS isn't really amazing because yeah, it's got way less heat, so it can't overwhelm anything. So I love how they say that they can't possibly stop the exercise right now. 
Like, really, what's stopping you? <laughs> There's nothing stopping you. You guys just don't feel like doing this for another day. Like, man, my schedule's completely booked. We're just gonna have to drop him out of the friggin' window, because I'm not coming back out here. Yeah, these bowlers are pretty great. Alright. Get rid of these mines. And here's our do. To basically go up here. And just chuck a bunch of rockets at it. Blow its friggin' wing off, and then you're good to go. Done. Done and done. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure the people living here won't agree, but if you say so. You guys are kind of dickheads, if you think about it. <laughs> it's like, man, we're going to go freaking take that person from taking their SATs. What now? It's like, let's go hire 50 friggin' pilots or whatever to go stop somebody from getting a job. Man, that's some Trump crap right there. Alright, anyway. Moving on. What do we got next? Alright, we got inside contact bombs. That sucks. Arm howitzer. And the stiff legs. Okay, well, as long as we're running heavy legs, I'm okay with that. Like, being heavy and bulky, still usually more manageable during missions, being all lightweight and everything, that's usually going to be better for arena stuff. Yeah, contact bombs, that's not going to be good for anything. Um, they can be alright as far as damage goes, but eh. And then the uh, lefty howitzer. And there we go, you know what, this thing's actually got some pretty okay damage on it right now. In fact, uh, I kind of want to take an arena fight with it. Uh, just to get one of those out of the way. B3. And that's pretty much why, because, yeah, I figured there were some stronger ones. And this can definitely take them on. Okay, so that's perfectly doable. Let's say... I'm going to say Wasteland. A lot of his shots can actually whiff here. So if you ever have any issues with anybody using torpedoes, uh, you just basically bring them out to here. And both here and on the reservoir, uh, there are just... A, ton of times when uh, their weapons will just completely whiff into the ground. Oh, wait. Whoops. 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 Hold on. My buttons aren't set. My buttons aren't set. Uh, controls. Alright, D-pad down. Get my thumbstick. There we go. That's more cozy. Alright, so he just overboosted, so he's going to be a little bit low on energy, can get a few uh, EO shots off on him. The comforting thing about having a decent EO at the very start is that it at least, uh, it, ooh, yeah, whatever, let's just use rockets. Is, uh, yeah, it, it at least, uh, at least, uh, lets you know that you're not going to run out of shots, so that's always nice. Alright, and yeah, that just completely tore him a new one. <laughs> so yeah, rockets and howitzer are really, really strong, by the way. Uh, it's actually uh, one of the builds that I tested out competitively for a while. And it worked! Like, it worked pretty okay, it's just... Yeah, uh, let's just say that if somebody's coming in with OPI, it's not gonna, not exactly gonna make too much of a difference. This is a build that relies on stagger and overweight and actually making use of the game's mechanics, which, yeah, I, I don't really know why they included OPI in the game. Like, it's a it's a fun little bonus feature, but the fact that you can use it online is some complete horse crap. <laughs> but, oh well. There we go. Alright, overheating, but that's fine. I think he probably got me with the hand rockets. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately my controller's still being janky. 
So my extensions are getting turned on and off and stuff like that. You know, extra challenge mode and all that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now I should probably point out, it, on the very off chance that we run into a case like where I'm running Queso legs and friggin' only two slug guns and a parry blade, no, that, that build will still continue as it is. We're not resetting anything, we're not redoing anything, we're not re-rolling anything. It's just played straight. So every time one of these uh, missions or arena fights is rolled, they're removed. But all these parts, they will all do their own thing. So let's see, insides, we got inside EM-15s, we might as well just stick a brick in there, because those things suck. Alright, so EM-15... So yeah, ECM pods kind of suck in this one. Uh, what do we got for weapons? Give me MG-1000. No, 150 pulse. That's still okay. It's still pretty good. A little bit drainy, but it'll do. And what do we got for frame? Please don't be legs. Uh, DSSEVs. I think those are actually lightweights, which might really suck. Um, no, they're actually not the ones I thought they were. Okay, so these SEVs. Where are you, SEV? Well, poo. Alright, how overweight are we? Uh, I mean, it's decent. It's still doable. Uh, if we just purge the sides and everything, we can actually just have a pretty decent spider build. In fact, I'm gonna go missions on this. Let's see what we got here. And employee rebellion? Well, this is just complete overkill then. <laughs> oh, hello there, Evan. How does the competitive scene work in this game? Is it uh, LAN or online? It is essentially done via Hamachi. Uh, so if we... Basically, if we go into the settings right here, uh, go to the settings, go to the networking, you can uh, do it via PPSSPP. So you basically do this. You turn on your whatever you want to use here. Uh, don't use this. This is just some standard stuff that was in there. Uh, you would basically put in their IP here, you would enable this other stuff, uh, you would make sure that nobody has a matching MAC address, and then uh, you would uh, you would have Hamachi, you'd be in the same room, and uh, yeah, you just kind of do it that way. Alright, I'm just going to get rid of that. Shotgun! One of the very few chances that we get to use a proper slug gun build. Of course, this thing's reload rate is so obnoxiously piss poor, it's not even funny, but oh well. This is what shotgun builds are all about. But yeah, so um, uh, so there's actually a uh, Discord dedicated to uh, doing multiplayer on it. Uh, I should probably go ahead and link that thing, in fact. Plunk. Plunk. Yeah, it only takes half the spread of this thing to completely wipe these guys. Uh, they give you a timer, but it's pretty friggin' forgiving, to be honest. Alright, ECM makers, those can get out of here, too. And there we go. Probably can get rid of those. Can just use EO over here. It's a little bit different from the usual route I take, but screw it. Let's go down this way. But yeah, no, I, typically most of the multiplayer is done for Silent Line and for um, uh, Last Raven. Uh, just because 3 is apparently still a little bit wonky. Like, LR is probably just about as unstable, but still more people prefer the balance of LR because there's so many busted parts in this. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's definitely one of those games where... There's kind of supposed to be a bit of an understanding of like, okay, look, there's like there's broken stuff. Maybe don't be a douche. Don't get too into it. And you like every time we hold a tournament, you get people to get way too into it. Like I've built the ultimate thing ever. It's so good. Nothing can kill us. Like dude, everybody's built the ultimate thing ever. It's, it's how this goes. <laughs> it's like it's like literally everyone knows all the metas. You aren't the first to discover it. <laughs> but every time there's one. Every dang time. 
Uh, but yeah, no, uh, the the recent Silent Line tournaments that we did were actually pretty darn fun. Like, I say recent, but it, this was like four months ago. Uh, recent enough to not be, t like, you know, a year ago? I mean, technically it was last year, but, uh, oh well. Uh, hang on, I'm just getting the, uh, the, the link here real quick. Do, 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 invite people. All right, edit invite link. Max number of uses, a bajillion, there we go. Expires never. Generate that crap. There we go over here. But yeah, so it's PSP that that, uh, that works. There we go. And have you a Discord link there, Mr. Evan. It's so, alright. Let's roll some parts. See, robot nerds are just a different breed, just like the SRPG Discord. Yeah, true, it's all nice there. Oh, hello there, Null. Just started, uh, not not too long ago. Uh, been at this for a little bit. I've had, uh, I think, like, four rounds, give or take. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, so uh, if you want to know the rules, they should be up on the screen right now, but it's just exclamation mark blender. Um, and yeah. Alright, so we, on the arm, we got the grenade tube. Do, 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 do. Fantastic. It's actually not very fantastic, because this thing has, like, no carry weight on it. But whatever. Let's see how we can make this work. Probably just throw away the grenade tube. <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we do. Where are you, grenade tube? There we go. What do we got for legs? Okay, we got the back pod missiles. So, yeah, this thing is just... Oh, <laughs> this thing is all the overweight. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So we got the pod missiles. Uh, and the extension ghetto laser shield. Okay, so we even lost our anti-missiles. Beautiful. I call it this thing because it always looks kind of rusty, you know? Uh, so yeah. So yeah. Hello there, uh, Mr. Cow. Hello, every folks. So this feels like an arena build if I've ever seen one, because, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get away with not moving whatsoever. But please don't be friggin'... Oh, E5 is fine. I was gonna say, please don't be Kaiser or something. Because, uh, yeah, that's kind of what killed the run last time. It's just I lost three lives to uh, to Kaiser. So this is kind of, yeah, it, it, we're using a kind of sort of low-key live system that since there's five AC slots, I'm just kind of using them as lives, as it were. So every time that uh, the starter AC dies, uh, we move on to the next one. It makes a new starter. And, uh, yeah, then the starter is randomized. And then when that thing becomes completely unusable, then it dies. And then we move on to the next one. And so we keep the run going, and it's actually possible. So yeah, um, so that's about that. Should be uh, pretty darn fun there. All right, Cascade. Yeah, this guy will kill himself. Don't even need to really need to worry about it. Don't even really need to need to worry about. Wow, that's uh, that's an interesting one. All right, let's pop that sucker out there. I guess ECM makers might be somewhat useful here. There we go. See these things? Their best use is if you just use them as rockets. It's like right there, you see they're doing like 3,000 per shot. Uh, the only thing this guy has going for him is the fact that his uh, weapons do a hell of a lot of heat damage, but he will literally overboost until he burns himself to death. <laughs> so, kind of useless. Anyway, moving on. What do we got for our frame? Uh, the arm Nyx. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, that should be these light ones over here, or not the light ones, the uh, the kind of chunky ones. So yeah, we are extraordinarily overweight. We need to get some Weight Watchers going on this robot immediately. Uh, we got the arm SMG back on the right side, which I'm actually kind of okay with, uh, just because we get a little bit more uh, more freedom weight wise. And then what do we got back here? For insides and outsides, we got the inside EM15s, which I'm already equipping. So still pretty god awful. Still pretty trash. Um, how overweight are we talking? Uh, about a thousand or twelve hundred, give or take, or thirteen hundred. Just enough for those to drop. You know what? We're gonna go arena. We could actually even go missions on this. Might not be a terrible idea either, because I, as long as my core doesn't get replaced, most missions do become viable. Uh, so let's do a mission. All right. Uh, defend the arena. Perfect. Could not be more ready for this. Let's do it. Defend Zirina. 
In fact, might even have the option to go kill off Gaidos. Why not? Also, this is just kind of funny. <laughs> like, oh, hello, tiny MTs. Let's just go friggin' shove a million M or ro or wow. That just completely missed. Okay. Stop whiffing. This is complete overkill, but we don't really have to worry about anything uh, price-wise. So, bam. Let's make it happen. Yeah, I feel like the lock-on range on these things could have been a lot better. And there we go. We are good to go. Get rid of those shields. Little SMG is gonna gonna do a little low okay job, I think here. Yeah, got a little bit of practice with S because I've uh, I was trying to do a speed run route a while ago using the um, using the SMG and the howitzer. I uh, can't say it was terribly amazing, but it worked out pretty okay. I should probably mention it was like the the high damage SMG, not this one. That's why I'm shooting about four shots, and it's definitely going to take more than four shots with this stupid thing. Burp. But yeah, if you've got any, like, absolute trash tier ACs that, uh, that can be rebuilt as the very first start of the Blender run, I'm uh, going to pick one of those every week to just put them in the first slot. Just because, yeah, those are pretty darn fun. So yeah, this week, uh, just start off with Crossback, because he's pretty amazing. Like hell, I uh, probably Green Witch uh, should be on that list as well. Like I would say Yellow Boat, but they're literally just one part drop away from being a really good AC, <laughs> so decided not to put them on there. So is there some kind of HD texture mod for the portables that exists? Um, not really, but if you just run them normally on PPSS PP, it ends up looking a lot nicer than it does natively. Um, like as far as uh, as far as the remakes go, they weren't exactly like a downscale, as it were. A lot of stuff was rebuilt from scratch, as far as I can tell. Uh, you can tell that by the fact that there's uh, some hitbox jankiness that honestly would never come up over the course of a regular game. But for example, if you're uh, if you ever test the hitbox on the uh, on the rockets, specifically on the rockets, by the time they got to Last Raven, and on um, on that crashed ship uh, that's in the desert. It's got little holes in it from where they kind of stretched it out to be a higher resolution. <laughs> so there's that. So yeah, it looks crappier, but it's higher resolution. That's... Figure that out. Anyway. You know. That's kind of how that goes, I guess. But what you can do... And actually what I can do right here is if I go over to... Uh, where are you here? Rendering resolution. We can, like, up that resolution to be all pretty-like. Which I usually do. So there we go. So that's three times resolution. That looks pretty okay. Honestly, I, you know, like, I, I just typically play with everything at minimal settings, just because uh, looks never bother me, so it is how it is, but this makes it look a little bit shinier and nicer and all that kind of thing. I think if I had a parry blade, I'd go for the Gaido's kill here. Actually, you know what? I still can. can kind of overheat him. All right, there we go. He should at least be overheating. Like I think it's, uh, I think it was um, eight howitzer shots to kill him. We never will. All right. And there's HD texture mods for Ace Combat X. I was hoping this game would go into. Yeah, no, the modding scene is just about non-existent. Uh, there's a bunch of no crash codes that allow it to actually function on PPS as PP. So there's that. Um, but yeah, no, the the modding scene. It's weird because there's quite a few people that have that, that mentioned being part of a modding scene. And Formula Front has a modding scene. That's the one that's uh, you just basically make a bunch of AI ACs. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, in general, other than adding Human Plus to everything, because apparently that's all anyone can think of, um, yeah, I, there really isn't a whole lot of uh, modding out there, unfortunately. But, uh, you know, such is life, such is life. Can't always have nice things, or can never have nice things, but oh well. Um, what's funny is there's a few people that figured out how to mess with the UI and all that, and then they just never bothered to share any of that information. 
which honestly bugs me a lot more than it should. Because it means that people, like, liberally went out of their way to learn how to do certain mods for it, and then they're like, but nobody can know this information, so meow, and then it's like, why then? Why'd you even tell me about it? Now I, now I know what I can't have. <laughs> That's just mean. I want, I friggin' want more mods for this, okay? It's one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, anyway, we get the AM40s back. Uh, how overweight are we looking? Uh, pretty decently overweight. You know what? Whatever. This is uh, a still feels viable for missions. Uh, so let's do some missions. They eliminate the boomers. Fine. Actually, is this what I think it is? I don't even remember eliminate the bombers. That one. That's just one of those ones that never really comes up. Oh, it's this one. Okay, whatever. It's uh, it's doable. It's not super likely. So yeah, let's go ahead and get Squad 1 here. They're pretty good at dealing with the other fighter jets. And, uh, yeah. Do that kind of thing. That one guy's just glitching out. There you go, so you got your ace combat right there. <laughs> Look at all that glitchiness. This is totally how planes work. Alright, let's check these ECM makers out of here. Yes, I'd love to, but... No guarantees on that one, to be totally honest. Let's do that. So yeah, as long as you take a couple shots on each of these guys, your wingmen will usually be able to take them out. Now the question is, are they going to show the bombers here? Because yeah, this is one of those ones that just seems to never want to come up. Not to mention I don't have a radar, so that doesn't really help matters either. Got a rough lay of the land. I'm pretty sure over on the left there's where they come in from. And I believe there's four in total. Okay, so it's directly ahead. Uh, one of these pursuit pods should do them in. I'm going to leave this EO out here for the sake of knowing which planes are which. There he is off in the background. Hello, pal. Useful, okay. Not entirely sure why that thing is so god awful, but oh well. Okay, where is he going exactly? So he's over this way someplace, right? No, he's over here. Okay, that's fine. He's going to take a higher route. That's perfectly fine. Uh, wingmen are not holding up too hot right now. Actually, they're almost entirely wiped out. Two... Excellent. Okay, I thought there were four. Must be... Uh, oh, I'm, I must be thinking of the one in Nexus. Yeah, the one in Nexus has four, but it's also in the desert. Let's see, futuristic fighter jets and bomber that fly that low, slow, and very close. So it bugs me to the same here. <laughs> it bugs me to no end. But I guess... Uh, I don't know. My, my only assumption that I can think of is that, in this case, they're probably trying to conserve fuel or something. And it's kind of established that almost everybody that's sending units anywhere is a complete and utter moron. Um, like, to the point where, by the time Last Raven comes around, everybody's got all these dedicated MTs made for specific purposes. They're like, no, we need to hire ACs for everything, though. Like, oh, we have, like, we specialize in building friggin', like, snipers that are really good at sitting in one place and shooting at a thing. We have a canyon where we previously placed those snipers. We have a bunch of things flying through there very slowly. Then we need something to snipe. I know, let's get one guy to go out there with a gigantic mech four times the size of any of them 
to use a weapon roughly equivalent in power to go to go deal with them, and have way lower odds of success and about eight times the cost of just sending one of our guys. <laughs> like it's it's hilarious. The, the logic in this game is absolutely hilarious, but what can you do, right? Ah. All right, insides and outsides. What do we got? Uh, we got the CR14. That's okay. Sure, might might already be running the CR14. Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, that's good. A little bit loss of uh, weight, but yeah, that thing will take care of any cooling. That's the one I typically like to run with. Actually, wait, whoops. Didn't mean to roll that again, so just ignore that. Uh, we got the back slug cannon, so goodbye pursuit pods, you were fun. In fact, since I have the option here, uh, basically the option is to reset to default if uh, one of your sides becomes available in a situation like this. So I'm going to pop that radar back on there. So let's put the slug gun. Now please tell me I get some quad legs. Alright, what do we got? Uh, the messenger. I th Which freaking ones are those? I think that's one of the tanks, actually. No, that's these ones. Okay, you know what? That's fine. This is perfectly fine. Uh, in fact, once again, this seems like a good old bulky mission build. Do, 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 do. Distracting. Oh, crap. Well, this AC is going to die. <laughs> so, this is one of the worst ones. Um, but luckily, since uh, since the AC died. Well, actually, no. The next AC has to take on the fight as well. Uh, so, distract defenses. That's nature area, isn't it? Where exactly was it? Here it is. All right, this one sucks. If you've got like a thousand MG, or if you've got hover legs, this is doable. Otherwise, uh, it's a big old barrel of nope. Um, right, this guy tends to tank pretty well. Uh, you really can't take the MT and anyone else, unfortunately. Uh, Apple Boy, I feel, is probably the most viable. Uh, just because he's got missiles for taking out all the jets. Uh, Sela doesn't really have the, the ammo to hold up. Uh, Huntress, she does damage, but yeah, no, she gets herself squashed pretty easily. Coldheart doesn't have the ammo to keep up. Like, the Spartan, again, he's very useful early on, but he just drops off in usefulness. So we'll go for this. <clears throat> all right. Man, they've got a whole lot of gusto to them, considering they're all about to die. Like, the fact that you get an optional part if I think, like, even one of them survives is pretty impressive. But yeah, start, you start off with uh, five MT guards and then whoever you hired. Uh, having um, anti-missiles, pretty darn good here. Uh, don't have any core anti-missiles, unfortunately. Now, I'm going to throw these ECM makers out here in the vague hope that... Vain hope, actually. That they'll do anything. Yeah, there we go. We're already losing dudes. So they start surrounding you pretty much immediately. You've, these laser guys are the biggest threat. Right, so it looks like... Two pistol shots and a Howie to deal with them. Right, so we've got four minutes to survive. Already lost almost all AP here. Okay. Now you always want to let them fire before actually moving forward. Uh, when it comes to these like big missile or big laser guys. Because they're very good at tracking. And I also might have an unfortunate amount of practice with this one in particular. Because uh, there was a troll build that somebody sent TBM... I want to say... It was about a year ago, give or take. But I was trying to... Uh, out of curiosity, I went and rebuilt it. It was basically like a hover build with only back weapons, more or less. And I was trying and trying and trying and trying and trying, and 
like eventually it got to the point where I won it, but then I couldn't get to the escape point. That's what it was. So yeah, it was uh, it just wasn't viable at all. Right. Yes, I'm sure you are. You guys tend to get hit a lot because you're kind of bulky and you don't move. Yeah, even these anti-missiles aren't going to be enough here. It's just, I really don't know what they were thinking with uh, with something like this, because this comes off one of the more annoying ones to actually get an S-rank on. And you have to S-rank that one and beat it within a certain amount of time in order to actually unlock this mission in the first place. And unfortunately, yeah, that's when, uh, when you wind up in this whole situation. And you just got to deal with them. You can kind of sort of kite them a little bit. But not very much. That heavy biped leg is designed kind of reminds me of uh, L14 from uh, VD. Kind of, sort of. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's meant to be the same kind of idea. Uh, honestly, most of the stuff uh, in like in VD, despite the fact that the consensus was like, oh man, this doesn't look like anything else in the series, so many of the legs looked so much like a lot of other things in the series. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, no. Uh, they just kind of added side shields to a lot of them, or kneel shields. Go, that's him gone. Yeah, now we're probably screwed here. Should be using the EO more. Like, going extremely on the offensive is usually going to be your best bet, but even then, it's unreliable. You can kind of see why. Because they're just hitting you from every angle at all times. Yeah, I'd have to survive another minute. There's no way. Ugh. Alright, so that's the first AC dead. So let's roll some parts for the second one. Uh, crap. Alright, well, gun emplacements is right after this one, then. <laughs> so, anyway. Didn't mean to push that one, but yeah, it deletes the other options, so... You kinda don't want to push it multiple times. Oh, nice! Nice! That's exactly what I needed on this. So, let's uh, move on to the next one. So, Endless Bullets, that's the MG-1000. It's friggin' amazing. It's basically the best. This is like the epitome of overpowered third-gen weaponry, more or less. Uh, so we got that, we got the FKSTs, which are the lightweights. Alright, FKSTs. Hell yeah, this is, like, this is practically... <laughs> this right here is practically my favorite build. And then the forward extensions, which... meh. Anyway. So we go over here... Oh, let's get this. Probably one in a large sight lock. Actually, yeah, we'll turn off generator capacity. We'll get sight lock. Uh, let's see. Missile display could be useful, but we should be getting that from uh, from the uh, radar. Lock on time, disable lock ons. Yeah, maybe stun shock for the missiles. And reduce lock-on time, sure. So, okay, now we go to the same one. And try to make this happen. This is a little bit more likely. In fact, if we're running a really fast build, then I might as well let Spartan take place here. The uh, thing is, yeah, he'll run out of shots, and then he'll become a little bit useless. But, uh, anyway. Try to get rid of that. Get rid of the blade. So yeah, th these legs, despite having higher drain, uh, due to the fact that they've got such lower uh, such lower weight, they're quite a bit more useful. And uh, also, yeah, this missile launcher right here is why I said that having crossback is about equivalent. Wow, I think they just had some friendly fire incidents over there. Nope, no, 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 that's not what I meant to push at all. Yeah, this controller's a little janky, unfortunately. So my apologies on that. Take care of that. Like, even the 1000 MG is usually not enough to get through this fight, but... Still, this is drastically better, as you can probably tell. But yeah, so the 1000 MG, if we're talking in terms of similar to VD stuff, 
This is, functionally speaking, the Gatling gun, except with the weight of the heat gun. Like, that's more or less the, the shtick with these. Like, if you combine all the best parts of all the machine guns, <laughs> this is what you get. Uh, but yeah, the, the only downside is, yeah, running energy, kind of running out on that. So I just can't fly super well, but I can do this. So I can at least dodge with some degree of effectiveness. Uh, and, and in case you're wondering, yeah, no, they never run out. They're just in, infinitely spawning. The best you can do is just make sure to get as many jets down out of the air as possible. Because they can only spawn up to a certain number of each one. So as long as you preserve your uh, MTs there, there's a chance that they'll go and target somebody else. And that kind of makes this a bit more possible. Unfortunately, starter lockbox is a little bit garbage. Yeah, less than halfway through the mission, almost halfway through my bullets. But still, this is the best. Like, this is the best odds we're likely to get. Right. Finish him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Deal with you. Yeah, the annoying part is it's kind of hard to tell where the hell my lockbox is right now. I forgot to forgot to change it before going into this. Holding up a little bit better, but still not super great. Why am I chasing this stupid jet? Why am I doing this exactly? Alright, let's do a little missile sniping. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Last guy. Where the hell did the last guy go? Yeah, if... Like, if they flew at realistic speeds, this would just be impossible. But oh well, oh well. Not to mention their lock-on is so slow, they'd probably never get a lock-on. <laughs> so there's that, too. There's lots of game design things to consider here. Alright, two missiles, we'll do him. Let's get rid of him that way. I know I'm wasting a few shots, kind of shifting the camera off that way. But, yeah, it feels like a good idea at the time, I guess. I don't know. Please finish him. Good. Actually, it's a little bit hilarious that rifles are even considered in AC3. Because it's literally like, would you like to shoot just as much damage, except like 10 times faster? You know, just a bit of a thought for you. Thought you might appreciate this right here. You can do the same thing, but way slower. Which is funny, because then you get into you get into the online of it. And everybody tends to fly around like such a spaz that the rifle just ends up being more useful just on efficiency's sake. Though, yeah... The 800MG in particular inside the line is, still ends up taking the cake pretty much every time. Alright, come on. Please don't die because of charging. We just barely survived it. Okay. Yeah, your guys are dead. They're long dead. Oh my god, why would you add an extra objective? <laughs> Like, this specific extra objective has... Oh my god, dude! Count the end already, thank you. <laughs> there, got out with 67 AP. God, I hate that mission. <laughs> so crappy. Alright. There we go, so that's one of, the, uh, one of the hardest ones. That is by far one of the hardest ones, and that's what she said. Okay. So, 004 legs, basic missiles on the back, already have one of those. And the extension back boosters. So, not too big of a difference. 
All right. All right. So back boosters this is just a pretty much straight improvement. Uh, already got the basic missiles, so I don't have to do anything there. And then the double lot fours. Uh, which ones are those again? Where are you, double fours? It's these ones. They're nifty. And I get to keep my thousand MG. So that is a missile build if I've or a mission build if I've ever seen one. There's very few missions that can't be beaten with this. Hey, destroy germ canisters. That sucks. Please don't get rid of my thousand MG. It is my favorite. Actually, wait, I can't do germ canisters because I needed to do Ah crap. Hang on. Whatever. Okay, we'll do germ canisters, and then I'll do gun emplacements. Don't let me forget, please. Okay, where is germ canisters? There we go. So we gotta go and destroy the germ canisters. Alright, destroy, destroy, destroy. Yeah, they are, so uh, thank you very much, guys, for, <laughs> well, not bothering to actually make sure your place is safe to go into before sending us in here to go deal with this. It's like, yeah, go in there and go blow these things up. Also, we're gonna seal you inside. Because reasons. We gotta, we gotta do this for reasons. And hopefully, unlike last time, I'm not going in the completely wrong direction. They're kind of vaguely firing in their direction because stuff keeps popping into lock range more and more. Actually, having a sucky FCS is pretty useful here. Do I have to go to that last one, or do I go here? <laughs> Nifty! Then we just get out of here. So yeah, that one's meant to be like a little bit of a, just so you know, there's canisters here and they're pretty darn useful, uh, just in case you happen to come in and come back here to do eradicate life forms, which I don't have any idea how the hell we're gonna do eradicate life forms. Because uh, yeah, the odds of rolling an AC that can actually win that one are next to nothing. All right. So let's roll another AC and then let's go do gun emplacements. Okay, and the UN4 booster. So that's just a basic upgrade. Then we got the back flank missiles. Those are pretty handy. Actually, I'm going to keep the radar. So let's go ahead and replace that and get the icicle radiator. That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good at all. Like, it's the best radiator, technically speaking, but I don't like taking on that extra weight. But we still got a 1,000 MG, so that's nifty. Okay, where are gun emplacements? And then for this one, if you're not going for anything too special, you might as well just go for Cold Heart, because, uh, yeah, he doesn't last too long on ammo, but whatever he hits will actually just die instantly. See, so yeah, I wish from updated the portables for Vita, but I guess that system isn't that profitable. I wish. I mean, they run on Vita. Um, it's actually unfortunate because yeah, despite the fact that they run on Vita, they still suck on the Vita. Like, in all honesty, the like the thumbsticks, they don't work for this style of play at all. Like, I, I don't really know why either. It's just everything about the movement of this game is just better suited to the PSP. But, uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. So, the kind of placements, yeah, one of the few that doesn't have any missions, or any, uh, music that plays. Alright, so that's one gone. 
Might as well just keep using these missiles then. Uh, there's two on one shore, three on the other. Uh, in, in the original, you had to beat this in, I believe it's uh, under 30 seconds, and also S-rank it. So you, basically your options uh, consisted exclusively of coming in with a high-powered laser rifle, usually the Spirit, and already having a really high reputation with, uh, I think it was a Crest uh, that wanted this one. Uh, but yeah, so you needed high reputation with them, you needed, uh, you needed those specific weapons. <laughs> it's funny because, yeah, you needed a, a weapon from Union in order to have uh, a thing for Crest to get done. Eh, I really need to stop going into charging. This, uh, ra this uh, generator is a little bit wonky in that regard. Because it's got... Oh, you're damaged, huh? You, you tell me about your problems, please. But if you're coming in here post-game, you'll almost always get it, because all you need is the reputation to actually make it happen. Uh, and uh, I saw one theory that said that it actually, that in the original it meant, was meant to scale, like, reputation to how much time you had uh, per, uh, per the mission. But yeah. And then, yeah, the, the mission that we just did unlocks from that, so we're definitely not going into that. So we have to survive for an extra minute now against friggin' everything, because they just love this holding off mechanic. Oh yeah, these guys are stealthy, so you can't lock onto them a lot of the time. Alright, Lane, can we get out of here, please? Please? <laughs> I'd like to stop holding off against MTs in the jungle. Why are you so into this? But yeah, I... Like, my hope for the series is that, yeah, maybe one day they'll do an HD re-release. We know they're working on something, and... I don't know, odds are it's AC6. Like, I would have hoped that maybe you get every every part of, like, old gen AC or something. You know, just all the stuff that you can't... It, okay, let's take a step back. They've been reporting a, a lot of uh, their older stuff from older systems, right? So if they took, like, all the first gen, second gen, third gen, fourth gen, and... You know, hell, just made all of the series into just one giant lump. I'd be okay with just first, second, third. Hell, I'd be okay with just third, to be totally honest. Uh, but, you know, they're trying to do a whole legacy thing to port that uh, to new systems lately on a lot of uh, on a lot of places. So, hopefully, they'll see how well those have been doing and maybe give us a collection. Like especially if they included the hardcore mode uh, out of um, uh, Verdict Day. Like as much as as much other stuff as Verdict Day did. That hardcore mode was hands down my favorite feature. <laughs> it's it's just so good. It's like, would you like to turn your AC game into like friggin' uh, just a shmup? Would you like to turn it into a weird like survival situation? Would you like to basically turn it into um, a steel battalion? Well, there you go. You've got all of that. Like all it was missing was you know a starter only specific thing or say. Um, Actually, I have seen somebody do a starter-only run of Verdict Day. I think it was From Cheng that did it. Um, but yeah, that that was pretty fun to watch. Uh, but yeah, I, so basic radar, we already have that. EDFs, pretty darn decent. What do we got for insides? Better generator? Nope, we got the M15s again. So we're still running this. Um, yeah, might as well go missions. Just because the 1000 MG is just too big of a resource to waste on anything else. Uh, defend... Oh, wait, is that defend or destroy? Defend. Okay. But yeah, no, that, as far as the Vita goes, yeah, definitely not profitable, though. Right, so we throw everything away but the 1000 MG, because this thing's all you need to win the game. Like, it's funny that they made you jump through so many hoops to get the dang Sawa when you have something way better than the Sawa right here. Because you know what? You don't need to use your friggin' uh, generator for this. You don't. You just you just have your infinite bullets. It's great. Like, every single AC game, even when it was absolutely busted uh, when it came to, um, like, Project Phantasma and stuff like that, when it completely didn't even function, I still always use the 1000MG because I just love that thing so much. 
Like, especially in AC2. I don't know. It was just so satisfying, man. Even if it wasn't very good, it was just so satisfying. <laughs> Ow. I meant to go for the falling off the bridge glitch. Or, not glitch, but just uh, the fun falling off the bridge. But didn't do it this time. So you haven't played hardcore mode, I'm saving it after the server goes down. It's fun. It's really fun. Uh, not to mention it's uh, single player only anyway. Which, uh, having invasions would have been pretty funny on that one. Alright, so insides, we got the SA-77 radiator. That's alright. Still would like a better generator, but, you know. So we'll do that. Alright, for our arms, we got the fast slasher on the left, so just a basic upgrade. The brown grade combo, as I like to call it, and we got the EDFs again, so, you know. Let's do another mission. We're actually starting to whittle down that list pretty, uh, pretty ex Oh, hello, Rahito Hell. It's Rahito Hell! Fantastic. This is perfect. This is exactly what I'd want going into Rahito Hell. So, perfect. Okay, okay, okay. Infiltrate Ruglin. Or, Rahito. Failure is not an option. But yeah, so hardcore mode is amazing. Like I think probably one of my favorite ones is one where you can only you basically only use parts that you found lying around. So uh, like the the actual cost for new parts and your uh, your store rank up rating and all that are preposterously tiny to the point that yeah you just you're basically running entirely off of uh, parts that you find just laying on the ground and it's great like it's absolutely fantastic like just basically it's got the rest of the challenge runs that people do for the, for the series built in and just that's why i love it so i'm gonna get rid of these two because those two potentially have unavoidable damage later on i'm just gonna carve through the hallway uh, flank missiles I'm going to keep just in case. I uh, probably should be getting rid of them for the sake of energy, but I'm going to leave it for now. Alright, that's not who I thought it was. It's fine. Uh, these pulse guys, it's good to get rid of early. Like, before the fight gets really started. Because, again, unavoidable damage. These ones can just be bladed. And alright. Not exactly my most solid run. Actually, using the starter frame, the best I ever got was uh, 6400 going into uh, going into the Nocturne fight. But yeah, you can avoid most laser damage if you kind of boost into the wall there. door please thank you <laughs> oh you know what actually one feature I forgot about that whole hardcore mode thing is that each of your different modes actually has a different number of lives so like for example the uh, the one where you get uh, ten times damage on your weapons and five times incoming damage uh, that one's got three, you got uh, your one that's basically more or less standard game balance, but your rank goes up faster, uh, so you can unlock all the weapons before the end of the game. Like, that one only has one, you've got another one where all of your shots are just super expensive, so just extreme ammo efficiency is what they're going for that one. There's just so much cool stuff. Deal with him... Did the third one not spawn? Huh. Weird. Okay, moving on. Uh, shotgunners can get gunned down here. They don't want to deal with their nonsense. Okay, they decided not to actually be a problem. Do, 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 do. This area reminds me a little bit of Resident Evil. It's quite frankly, the ideas are pretty similar. Actually, they kind of remind me of Hunters.
and not the least of which is the fact that they can suddenly stun Machia and leave you in a really, really precarious position. And Hardcore is a love letter to challenge, letter, challenge Runners. Yeah, it's actually inspired some of the um, some of the runs I've done for this. Oh god, that friggin' blade! Yeah, got me with it. Thankfully, he got a, a. I don't really know what to call it. It's like they're they're one of the frames in their animation gets a little bit screwy if they hit something that's moving, so they just kind of stop in the middle of their swing. But they got frame douched. Let's call it that. All right, are we coming forward or not? Entering code key. Thousand MG run. Thousand MG run is now. Probably gonna deal with these little guys just because I don't want to take the extra damage. I can also do a UNAC only challenge, but it's only in the standard story mode. Uh, I've seen people do that, and yeah, some of the UNACs people come up with are terrifying. Like, have you seen some of the friggin' uh, Japanese players and, like, they'll run into friggin' UNAC death squads? Like, to the point where you get people, wow, how the hell did you get up there? I've never actually seen that before. That's pretty impressive. Good job, little guy. You get to live. Uh, but yeah, no, they, like, they will just be roaming around. Just, uh, yeah, let's get rid of that blade, actually. Uh, get a little bit of better recharge going. But yeah, no, I think my, my favorite story of it is uh, there was one where it was three like really fast aggressive ones uh, like one was a melee guy two mid-range guys and a sniper and the four of us you know we were just playing online we managed to take out all but uh, all but the sniper like we were just all pretty heavily injured after fighting the rest of them all had to team up just to you know fight them all one on one you got one of them kind of stuck in a wall and yeah, even after all that, like, the sniper guy still ends up beating all of us, because somehow he's, like, sniping all of us at the same time. We're, like, we're not even sure how he's pulling that off. Anyway, uh, actually might be screwed due to FCS shenanigans here. Let's see if I can get a little bit of damage on him with this. Yeah, might be, uh, might be screwed here. Which is embarrassing, because no one should ever lose Rahito Hell with a thousand MG, but I've got no lock on to speak of. Alright, there we go. Getting a little bit better. He's sticking close to the wall, not being as evasive. Come on. A little bit better charging. Come on. Please be overheating. Come on. Should have taken out that guy over there behind the wall so he's not messed up my lock. And don't get hit by the rockets. This is the opening. almost dead. Yes! Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay. Let's see, face some of those teams, but on the uh, Xbox International server. Will you knock teams? Yeah, no. People get friggin' scary with those. It's mostly because they just managed to set them up in such a way where they're literally doing the same stuff players would do, which is way better. <laughs> it's friggin' Terminator squads. Alright. Do a little bit of peak shooting here. And this is the exact situation that I removed those guys for earlier. Because I knew there was a pretty good chance that I'd wind up in a case where I've got no AP to speak of. Oh, crap. Got, got one pulse guy over there. Die, please. Thank you. 
Yeah, I had to I had to go get that one because there's a chance that I would open the door and need to hit me with a burst in the back. Okay, there's one left over here somehow. Or no, he's the one in the other room. Okay, never mind. That's our Hedo Hell done. Another one of the uh, the big ones. This is actually going uh, turning out to be pretty solid here. Anyway, let me go and make sure that I still have more time here, because uh, kiddos are a little bit overdue for their wake-up, but let me uh, double-check what's going on. And by the way, I will be continuing this on later today whenever I do going to pause, so be right back. All right, upwards and onwards then. I'm still napping away, so I got maybe time for another one or two of these. All right, DD20s, so we got some uh, missile decoys. Perfect. Get over here, DD20s. You're one of my favorites. All right, what do we got for weapons? No! MG1000 is rip. Get the uh, parry blade. <laughs> Oh man, this is looking really mighty viable right now. And uh, the XB1 arms remind me. What are you? What are you? XB1, XB1, XB1. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> We're basically a Lego figure right now. Uh, all right, let's do an arena build, uh, an arena fight here. Please be friggin' a doer. Oh, never mind. Uh, actually, no, wait. A1 is uh, is free. A1 is free, since we're technically A1, so you'd have to fight yourself. Uh, so, yeah, no. Uh, A1 shouldn't be on there. So, alright. Alright. So that means... Reroll this. Alright, C8. The hell is C8? And can they be cheesed? Okay, that's Trooper... Yeah, they can be cheese, but they're fast as hell. Um, now we're gonna try desert cheese. All right, are we out of overweight? We're out of overweight. Got potentials for some damage here. Like I've got the damage to beat him. And worst case scenario, I can try and fight him directly, because I should be pretty resistant to every one of his attacks. He's only got 15 shots in that back launcher. Uh, he's got 150 shots in his right arm, but... Uh... Okay, let's, let's try fighting normally at first. See what can be accomplished. Because missiles plus a single parry hitch might just do him in. Ah, 
Yeah, if he had gotten, hadn't gotten me with that nade, I would have parried him. Okay, you need to stop countering my parries with your stupid gigantic big gun. <laughs> stop ruining my worst weapon in the game. <laughs> Slash series. Alright, got him. I think? It's unclear. Okay, no, that was a rocket. You know what the stupid part is? Look at the heat. Every time this thing is uh, discharged, the stupid thing friggin' overheats me. Nice, right, so he's going for that again. Yeah, I don't really have the energy to to do much more than evade right now. Alright. Desert cheese it is. Because I need at least a chance to recover. So let's go over here. Move over to this corner, see what he does, and just wait for now. If he goes out of bounds, great. If he doesn't, then I can at least get my energy back. thing is such a pile. It's literally a pile, and it's also such a pile. <laughs> there we go. Got him, but it only nicked him, so it only did 500. Man, what a stupid weapon. Which is stupid, because this really should be one of the coolest weapons in the game. Alright, back to Desert Cheese. <laughs> Alright, come on. You know you want to get cheesed. You know you want to do this thing. Stupid cliff. <laughs> so yeah, if you're wondering, yeah, this thing hits like three times potentially, but yeah, it's kind of a complete and utter uh, garbage heap. This might be uh, rip this character, or rip this AC. All right, get him a little bit this way. It's fine. Bring yourself on this way, please. Kindly throw yourself out of bounds if you could. Alright, so he's in that little nook. He should just be charging forward right about now. There he goes, and if he hits that corner, he's out of here. You know, you wanna... Look, so tempting! So tempting. Big tempts. Come on, come on, come on. You know you want it. You know you want some of this. You know you want some of this, dude guy. Get over here. Like, I really don't know why they decided that this thing needed to have the ability to friggin' whiff. Like, not only does it take forever to actually launch. But the fact that it's, uh, like, there's a pretty good chance that unlike a blade, like, if you nick somebody in the, in the side with a blade, they're going to take pretty much full damage a lot of the time. But that thing's infinite and instant. This thing takes three seconds to fire, and they're like, no, if you hit them anywhere but exactly in the core, it basically does, like, half its damage. It's like, but, but why? It's like, because we, we hated the idea of a spike, I guess. It was too basic. All right, there we go. Come on, get out of bounds. Come on. Come on. 
This looks goofy as hell. <laughs> He's firing into the cliff. Come on. Go a little bit left. Look at me. Oh man, look at that. Look at that left flank though. So unprotected. So unprotected. Sure would be a shame if anybody went over there. Ah, come on. Come on. Yeah, not all of the AIs fall for this, but yeah, it's just basically just a weird texture thing that they didn't think of. It's like right there. You see that little, little ramp? That is that is basically the death ramp. They're programmed to go exactly to the border, but not over it. Uh, but if they uh, if they fall off, they're just screwed. I mean, if he waits wastes all of his shots, I guess that works out too. Unfortunately, I have no way to lock on to him. I, like if I can nick him with this thing, then I know how many shots he has because I guess it's a RoboCop spike. Uh, but yeah, no. I have no other way of knowing how many shots he has left. Come on. Come on. There he is. He's coming up here. Sorry for the fast forward, by the way. This would take forever without fast forward. Just because it is technically an exploit, but... I mean, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, he hopped up again. Come on. Come on. Be a good trooper. I think there's a small chance that he wasted all of his ammo already. I mean, he was firing everything into the cliff. I'm actually a little bit surprised uh, everyone hasn't left yet. This is around the point that everybody completely left when I was doing this with Kaiser last time. <laughs> like, oh man, this is, this is just dumb. Why would anyone watch this? But uh, That was a high point, though. There were a friggin' hundred people here. That was pretty awesome. I think it, like, capped out at 118. That was some good times. Like, it was especially good times considering that was the first time that, that uh, this had come back in, like, a year. Ah, good, good times. But seriously, dude guy, can we, um... Can we get over here or what? What are we doing? Like, if I see any shots go out of him... Okay, let's do this. He's up there. He's gonna take any shots whatsoever. You gonna shoot? Or what? Because if he only has his blade, then yeah, then I can kind of joust him. Alright, come on. Alright, let's go it. forward. If he shoots, he shoots. Uh, it doesn't look like he has a right arm. Yeah, he only has his, he only has his blade then. And that parry somehow hit him. So whatever, he's overheated. Yeah, this uh, starter blade does actually technically have better ammo than the other ones, but even still, friggin' 30 isn't anything special. And that one didn't. No idea why that one didn't hit him. Felt like it should have. Oh, come on. This super wonky thing. Are you serious right now? That one nicked? <laughs> All 
All right, last shot. And then if this last shot misses, I'm just going to put it up to a vote as far as whether that counts or not, because... Yeah, no. What do you guys think? Should I just count that as a win or what? Because he's not going to use his. Apparently, he doesn't use his wave blade at... Actually, I don't think he uses his wave blade at all. So... All right. Well, I gotta go get my kiddo up here, uh, so what do you guys think? Vote. Friggin' win or death. What, what does this count as? A draw? Okay. So you want to just uh, start over on this next time? Uh, so I'm gonna be... let's see. Uh... Oh, crap. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, let's save it in that save slot there. So we can count it as as a draw then and just kind of redo it, I guess. Because, yeah, he's never going to attack. Alright. So yeah, we'll count it as a draw and then just try to redo the fight. Uh, so we'll do that next time then. And, um, yeah, so, so next time in this case is going to be... Let's see, like right here, it's a bit past nine here, so it's going to be in about three hours, give or take. Uh, so yeah, see you guys at that point, and uh, here, let's, uh, I think he's doing stuff, but this guy's pretty entertaining. Anyway, so, I'm going to get going then, you guys have a good one, and take care. See you soon.